Hello from the St. Louis Zoo. My name is Brittany. And I'm Emily. We both work here in the education department and... We are... Primate Enthusiasts! Join us today as we go visit our many family groups of primates here at the zoo. And let's find out what we can learn. So I bet you're wondering, what makes a mammal a primate? Primates have grasping hands. Fingerprints. Fingernails instead of claws. Forward-facing eyes. Most even have color vision. They have really big brains compared to other mammals. And longer lifespans. Most of them have one baby at a time. But again, long childhoods. <laughs> and they are in some way social. Primates are social animals, and family groupings can look very different. Let's learn a little bit more about how our family groups here at the zoo are similar and unique. Hi everyone, I'm here in the primate house to tell you a little bit more about the monkeys and lemurs that live here at the St. Louis Zoo. First, let's talk about lemurs. Lemurs are the least complex of all of the primates. They only live on the island of Madagascar. They have a little bit more of a dog-like face, rely more on scent than other primates, and their eyes are a little bit more to the sides than other primates as well. The lemurs behind me are called Cockerel Shafak, and they're one of my favorites. I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about the family we have here at the St. Louis Zoo. Meet our Cockerel Shafak families. We have two families here at the St. Louis Zoo. One is a pair, Constantine and his partner Irene. Constantine, at age 30, is the oldest Shafak in human care. Our other family consists of Constantine's son Caligula, his mate Almarina, and their six-year-old daughter, Kapika. These lemurs have a body designed for their arboreal, or tree-dwelling, lifestyle. But unlike many primates, Shafak don't rely on their arms for swinging through trees. In fact, their arms are short and their range of motion is limited. Rather than swinging, Shafak leap between trees using their long, powerful back legs. Shafak can propel themselves more than 30 feet in a single jump. Because of this, when Kapika was a baby, she held on to her mom's belly for about a month, then graduated to riding on her back. When you're a baby Shafak, you have to know how to hold on tight. Now let's talk about what makes a monkey a monkey. They're kind of in between lemurs and apes. They're medium sized, and the biggest difference between a monkey and an ape that you can see right away is that apes don't have tails and monkeys do. Monkeys are amazing. Some of them even have tails that can grab onto things like the spider monkeys behind me. Monkeys also have forward facing eyes. They're awake in the daytime for the most part. Their chests are a little deeper than they are wide, which is different than our ape friends down the hill from here at the primate house. And there are two kinds of monkeys, old world monkeys and new world monkeys. New world monkeys are a little bit smaller, and that's where you're gonna find the prehensile or grasping tails. Our black and white colobus monkey family consists of Kima and Cecilia, the dominant male and female, and their offspring, half-sister Binti, Simon, Ziggy, Willow, Hawthorne, and six-month-old baby Teak. Colobus monkeys live in multi-female families and take turns caring for newborns, a behavior called allomothering. Colobus infants are born with all white hair and a pink face, so that everyone can easily spot the baby within the troop. Baby Teak will stay with mom for nursing and sleeping, but at times throughout the day, it's common to see other members of the troop take the baby while mom eats or interacts with other members of the family. Cecilia is the dominant female and an experienced mother who's taking great care of Teak. Since 2011, the zoo has had nine successful colobus births. Cecilia has raised five of her own offspring, and now her new baby, in addition to helping to raise three other youngsters in the family. Kima, the father, can be seen watching stoically over his family and interacting with the youngsters. So here we are at Fragile Forest, home to three of our great eight family groups. We have a Western Lowland Gorilla family group, Sumatran Orangutan, and Chimpanzee. But now we should probably discuss what makes an ape an ape. How do you know that you're here looking at apes and not other primates? Apes are one of the largest groups, specifically our great apes. And large meaning in size. They are highly intelligent animals and something to always look for, 
They don't have a tail. Here at the St. Louis Zoo, we have four Western Lowland gorillas. John Tu, Joe, Nadia, and Bakari. All four of these gorillas are males, which means that our family group is called a bachelor group. Just like in the wild, when young males grow up, they will leave their family group to form their own groups. Now, sometimes they form bachelor groups before they find females. And we are mimicking that same behavior and grouping here at the St. Louis Zoo. John Tu is the largest and eldest male gorilla. He's also the dominant male. He's the one that's in charge. A neat fact about our Western Wollan gorillas is that they will all become silverback. A silverback male gorilla is simply an adult gorilla. They'll start growing in this white or silver saddle hair on their back and their legs. Now let's meet our family group of Sumatran orangutans. There are four total. Starting with Mira, our eldest. She just celebrated her birthday in early May. She's now 51. Her daughters, Ruby and Ginger, as well as Ginger's father, Chinta. It is easy to tell Chinta apart from the others as male orangutans grow these cheek flaps, also known as flanges, and they're much larger in size. Orangutans have a very long childhood. In the wild, they are more solitary, but the young stay with their mothers for on average seven years. That's almost the longest childhood of the great apes. That record's actually held by us as we tend to stay with our family a little bit longer. Being highly social, primates often play, especially when they're young. For instance, Ginger, our five and a half year old orangutan, can often be seen jumping on the head of Chinta or playing with her sister Ruby. Thank you for joining us today as we learned all about our primate family groups. We look forward to seeing you and your family here at the St. Louis Zoo very soon.